Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another best card loadout, but this time it is going to be for the brand new champion, Corvus. Now hopping right into this deck, it is very universal. I did not direct this deck around healing or damage or speed. He is strictly just a universal as a healer and you can use this right as soon as you start using him or just kind of whenever you wanna use it if you like it that much. Now for the first card, we have Abyssal Efflexion. It is reduce the damage taken by an ally healed by Abyssal reconstruction by 5% for 0.9 seconds after being healed. Now this is a very very large mouthful but basically what this card means is when you apply abyssal reconstruction onto one of your allies it will reduce the amount of damage that they're taking by 5% over that period of time. So say I go ahead and decide to heal my frontline with my abyssal reconstruction ability, they will take 5% reduced damage for 0.9 seconds of the healing time. So say you go ahead and max out your Kronos with Corvus, this means a, a one second or two second cooldown to reuse your abyssal reconstruction. So they're gonna be getting 5% reduced damage pretty much permanently over that heal time. Now onto the second card, we have the Price of Salvation. Heal for 300 over two seconds after healing an ally with abyssal reconstruction. I have this one maxed out to five points because uh, it is important for you as a healer to be getting health as well. Otherwise, if you die, obviously, you're not gonna be able to support your team as well. Over two seconds, you're gonna be getting 300 health while applying your Abyssal Reconstruction to one of your allies. With Abyssal Reconstruction having such a short cooldown time, this is very, very nice because you'll almost permanently have healing coming towards you from yourself, and then maybe you have a secondary healer on your team as well. It will aid you a lot in those close quarter fights. On to the next card, we have Condemnation. It is increase your healing you do by 6% while at or below 60% health. So while using Corvus, I found myself taking a lot of damage from the other enemies, obviously, because you are a healer, you are a primary target for them to take you out. You're constantly going to be somewhere around 60% health, dipping below that. So it's a free 6% uh, healing boost towards your allies. And as I've said a million times already, that Abyssal Reconstruction ability has such a short cooldown, you're going to be able to throw out a ton more heals a lot quicker for your teammates. On to the fourth card, we have Magistrate's Might, gaining 260 health shield for three seconds after dropping two or below 35% health. Now this card goes hand in hand with the price of salvation because the price of salvation gives you healing while this one is going to give you 260 extra health in the form of a shield. So that price of salvation card is going to be giving you healing while having abyssal reconstruction up. And then on top of that, if you start to get very low on health, you're gonna have kind of this 260 health shield buffer to keep you alive. I've ran into many situations already with Corvus that this card has saved my life and giving me that extra little 260 health in the form of a shield really, really helps out. Now, even if you do die when this shield comes up, it could buy you that little split second of time to throw another heal on your teammate and keep them alive. Then say they clutch up and you guys win the round. So it may not seem like a lot, but it will help you out a ton. Trust me. This one does have a 30 second cooldown timer though. So try not to abuse its power that much because you aren't going to be getting it that much in a round but it is very helpful at the end of the day. And on to the last card, we have Grand Design. Grants Marked Ally 10% lifesteal and Corvus shares 100% of the healing done due to the marked targets granted lifesteal. Now with this card, it's very generalized around flanks, obviously, because they are usually the ones that are off on their own, doing their own thing off on the sides, or they're way away from the bulk of your team. With this Mark of Fate, you're gonna be giving them a 10% lifesteal bonus and you as the healer are gonna share 100% of the healing done. So with this 10% life steal, them getting the extra portion of health done by the Mark of Fate combined with this is going to increase their healing even more. So you're technically just boosting the amount of heals you can dish out uh, in one ability. Uh, combined with that abyssal reconstruction so you're kind of getting two birds with one stone on this card you could increase it more depending on you know your team setup if you have a friend that you know is always going to be running koga or just a high rate of fire teammate in general all right you guys moving on to my favorite part of the video we have the talents for the champion we have dark gifts stunning massage and spreading influence dark gifts is your marked ally gains 15 percent crowd control reduction 10 percent cooldown reduction 15 percent reload speeding increase and they are healed 50 every one second now this is a lot of stuff for one talent it's got a lot of benefits to it i don't really see any negatives the 15 percent crowd control reduction is just an added bonus um 10 cooldown reduction obviously on their abilities for your teammates
a 15% reload speed increase. So once again, very nice for champions such as Koga or a uh, high rate of fire. And they are healed for 50 every one second. But it is only on the marked ally. So it is your mark of fate, not your abyssal reconstruction. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is only on the mark of fate ability. So moving on to the second talent, we have Stunning Visage. Enemies hit by projection are stunned for one second and an enemy caught between your projection and you when you teleport takes 600 damage. If you are super accurate and like going for crazy plays, uh, cool clips, this is going to be the talent for you strictly because it stuns an enemy for a second to him, kind of like Khan's stunning ability when he throws you over his shoulder. And if there's an enemy caught in between that teleport, they will take 600 damage. Onto the last talent, Spreading Influence. Decrease the percentage of healing given to marked targets by 15%, but you can have two marks out at a time. It is a very small disadvantage combined with a huge advantage. So you're going to be able to mark two people at once, and you're only taking a 15% healing hit. In my eyes, that is super super good i would go with this one if you're all about healing and you want to be doing as much assistance for your team as possible with this champion running two healers i don't imagine you you should be running this talent that much but you can go for it anyways out of these three i highly recommend using dark gifts the most all right you guys that is going to do it for this deck i hope you get some crazy games with it and i hope you do well and you enjoy it but if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this on paladins make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel i'll catch you guys on the next video.